Hi everyone. So welcome to the fifth session of the shortcut series. Uh, in this series also we will do three questions, all right, from different areas. Uh, 2020-2019 CAT questions, all right. This is a brief introduction again. Now, without wasting much time, let's move to the questions. So first question is of geometry, right? As I told you earlier, also most of the shortcuts work for geometry, correct? Now, this is something uh, we have already discussed in the uh, previous classes also. So you can try it. You can think of shortcut here now, right? So when you are solving this question, you can solve it using the proper approach. And you can now try that what shortcuts we can apply here, right? Once you start thinking, then it will be good, right? And I hope that uh, some of you will be able to crack it as I have already discussed it earlier. All right, so let's start then now. Uh, from an interior point uh, of an equilateral triangle, perpendiculars are drawn on all sides. Sum of the lengths of the three perpendiculars is S, then the area of the triangle is. Now, question says there is an equilateral triangle and there is any any one point inside it okay interior point from that we have dropped perpendiculars on the sides now this point can be anywhere correct okay so why don't we simply assume the easiest one that the centroid is the centroid you can say it, you can say it's a, a circumcenter also in center ortho center because in that equal triangle everything is same correct so when you draw perpendicular on this, this is what? When it is a in center, it is nothing but in radius. If the side is A, this is what? A by 2 root 3. Correct. So all three will be same obviously. Right? So what we do is, we have assumed this is the in center. And the lengths of all the perpendicular will be same. So S is what? Some of these three uh, lines simply we can say it is nothing but 3 times of a by 2 root 3 correct so from that we can say a is nothing but uh, 2a sorry 2s upon root 3 All right because this will be cancelled out as root 3 now what is the area of triangle root 3 by 4 of a square so root 3 by 4 into a square square of this will be 4s square upon 3 4 4 cancel this will be cancelled as root 3 answer is s square upon root 3 which is your answer s i hope it is clear all right okay you can also assume the value of s but that does not create any much difference here so this is sufficient i guess easy one right so most of you have should have be able to correct it uh, all right okay next if x is equal to this then which of the following is equal to 64 all right now generally what happens is we try to solve it correct that see the options and uh, then put the values of x and then try to solve it uh, but that creates i mean a problem with the time i mean uh, the time constraint is there right so if you start putting the values of x it will consume much time correct so we need to play smartly here right we need to see which of these option is equal to 64 so we try to make 64 right in a way and then we'll see how the x will follow what I'm saying is, you can try it first of all, oh, definitely we can uh, pause the video and come back again. Alright, so x is given as this. Now, what is 2, 4096? 4096, 2 raised to the power 12. Raised to the power 7 plus 4 root 3. Now I need 64, which is nothing but 2 raised to the power 6. So, I try to do this, right? I'll say it is 2 raised to the power 6. Raised to the power 2, 7 plus 4 root 3. Now, this is 64, correct? And I need this. So, I can shift this power to the left hand side. So, can I say it will be x raised to the power 1 upon 
2 into 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to what 64 let it let me write this here so 64 I already have now right I just need to use this in this any of these forms so obviously I need to rationalize because the options as uh, 7 in the numerator power right so if I rationalize it it will be 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 7 minus 4 root 3 so it will be what x raised to the power 7 minus 4 root 3 divided by 2 and when you do this into this it's a square minus b square that is 49 minus 48 that is 1 only so you can simply see what is this 7 is power x by 7 by 2 so x raised to the power 7 by 2 minus 2 root 3 is simply x is power 2 root 3 in the denominator so that will be your answer right you can simply crack it isn't it it's not tough it's all about thinking the other way around trying to get the answer first and then manipulate x jugaad nahi hai na it's it's simple trick it's not jugaad correct all right moving to the next question that's an easy because we have done this kind of question earlier also but obviously it's a cat question so uh, i'll try to give it definitely so again try to solve it using trick all right let's start now if you remember in the previous classes uh, i have told you that whenever inequality question is there we will try to eliminate the options right we have done this question also correct so the easiest one is what x equal to 0 okay usko put karna easy hai. so when you put x equal to 0 this gives you what under root of log 0 now you know with the basics that log 0 is not defined so x cannot be 0 so options which involve 0 will be straight away ruled out correct now in the remaining options take any value which is in one of them and one not in the other so you can see in the first option 3 is there in the second option 3 is not there so put x equal to 3 so if you put x equal to 3 it will be log of base e 3 into 4 12 minus 9 3 upon 3 is 1 log 1 is 0 root 0 is 0 0 is defined not no problem with that that means 3 does not create any problem so it should be in my answer so options b is also ruled out my answer is a correct so if you see this this can be solved within 20 seconds if you follow the process and do it fast isn't it just need to think aloud correct all right then so we come to end of the session we have done three questions again we will see you in the next session with three more questions all cat questions and once the cat question will be finished we can move to the other zat and snap and ift also all right okay thank you very much bye bye see you